think the 365 plus letters I wrote to you for deployment have enough words for a lifetime. That is all. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go. Our story is so much more than a book could ever contain, but that doesn't mean books have no place in our story. Alexis Danielle Millet, I love you for you, your mind, your beauty, and your, in our future. And I'm honored to be your husband, partner, therapist, and cheerleader. I vow to put our love first. I promise to be there to wipe away the tears, even though I'm the one that's crying. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm looking at you on our wedding day, but I can picture you in so many other phases. I see you at the military ball, helping me look for the little jewel that fell out of my hair. I see you on our first real date, looking at me with that confused smile and I couldn't stop laughing for no apparent reason. I see you surprising me the night you came home from deployment, my heart feeling like it could burst with happiness. I see you slaving away over the stove every night while I did homework, always providing the best home cooked meals to cozy up with in front of the TV. I see you comforting me through the tough moments of our lives, sometimes trying to make me laugh and others just holding me as I cried. I, I promise not just to say I love you, but to show you I love you. Uh, I understand that loving you is a package deal. I have to love the kitties too. <laughs> I vow to chase your dreams alongside my own and to support you where I can. I promise to listen more and provide only uh, provide advice only when you ask. Today is not the beginning of you and me, nor is it our epic finale. It's one of a million memories I intend to create beside you throughout our lives. You seemed so unattainable back then, a faraway stranger that I knew of but didn't think I'd ever really get to know. It's incredible to look back on those days because now I think I know you better than you know yourself sometimes. I vow to have fun. Life can be hard, draining, and downright frustrating. But to make it in this world, you've got to have some fun too. I promise to be patient and supportive. I vow to build a happy and loving home with you. I promise not to interrupt you when you're in the middle of a book. <laughs> and I see you on one knee by the covered bridge, finally asking me to be your wife. Who you have been over the years is now part of who I am that you're my best friend, that we've been together for eight years, and I still want to spend every possible moment with you. I hope that feeling never goes away. If there's one thing you've taught me over the years, it's how powerful and safe and easy love is meant to be. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life falling in love with you over and over again. May be seated. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Welcome to the family and friends. We gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Derek and Alexis. This is not the beginning of a new uh, relationship, but the acknowledgement of a, the next chapter of their lives. I noticed that there was a bicycle up there and I took a look at it and it's a girl's bike. <laughs> which probably means this is your last chance. <laughs> it's my getaway option in case I feel I need but it. That's right, that's right. <laughs> However, with that gorgeous wedding gown that you have, the bike won't do you much good. <laughs> no ceremony can create you in a marriage. Only you can do that. Through patience, through dedication, through talking and listening, helping and supporting, and believing in each other. Through tenderness and laughter, through learning and forgiveness, learning to appreciate your differences and letting all other unimportant things just drift off. And I ask you to remember that love, which is rooted in faith, trust, and acceptance, will be the foundation of the abiding, deeping relationship. Derek, do you take Alexis to be your lawful wedded wife, for richer, for poorer, keeping yourself under her for as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> I had to check first, I see. What was, the, uh, <laughs> was her last chance? <laughs>
for richer, for poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as your belt shall live. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I do, I do. She's thinking about that bike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about that bike. <laughs> May I have the, the uh, rings? What do you mean you don't have them? <laughs> <laughs> you Alexis, go. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always, and forever. Derek. <laughs> yes. I give you this ring <laughs> as a symbol of my love with the pledge to love you today, tomorrow, always and forever there was another condition also and that was that i had the first kiss <laughs> all right you may kiss the bride <laughs> mm -hmm. i now pronounce you as husband and wife and i present to you to you to your family and friends Mr. and Mrs. Derek and Alexis Mallick. I don't know who I just hit with my phone. <laughs> Shut up!